All right, nothing says a Tia craft project like not having a plan. to pantomime. We are in the midst of our Christmas videos and I wanted to do something steampunk. I don't know what, so I just grabbed all of my steampunk bits and uh, we're gonna look through and see what we can come up with as far as like a steampunk Christmas ornament vibe. Um, I think I should just do a Christmas tree. In my furious search for anything cone shaped, I gave up, but I did, I do have this oatmeal container. So basically I am going to cut this thing apart and try to force it into the shape I want it to be. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the cap onto the bottom to try and reinforce it. How does one turn a cylinder into a cone? One uses a box cutter, one knows that, but one past that, one is not sure. So if you hadn't realized by now, I have no clue what I'm doing. Dear Tia, do you know what cones are shaped like? Okay, it's a something. It's a start. Let's just put it at that. We're gonna make it look better, I promise. I don't know how, but we are. We. You're along for this ride with me, guys. I'm sorry. That looks stupid. <laughs> but it's all we got, so it's what we're doing. <laughs> Sure. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know how to make a cone. What is this? What is this horrifying thing? So my original plan had been to just paint the cardboard and kind of work from there. But looking at this monstrosity, I can't in good consciousness just leave it like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some air dry clay and I'm gonna cover this in clay, which is probably what I should have done to begin with, but here we are. All right, well, this is not a great angle, but here we go. I'm just gonna start liberally applying a coat of air dry clay to this. And of course, this stuff that I'm using is known for terribly cracking when it dries, so yay. Just in case you thought I was competent and actually planned out projects, or you're new here, <laughs> welcome. I am bad at this. Tavis thinks about things and plans and measures and has ideas. I realize partway through something that I'm doing it very badly. And so uh, this happens. <laughs> Okay, this might start looking like something from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if that's what happens, then that's what happens. <sighs> the cone of Christmas. We are the crystal gems. We'll always save the day. And that is stuck in my head right now. It, it looks like I made this out of mashed potatoes. This is starting to look more salvageable. Hopefully it doesn't crack too much when it's drying. Well, this was a failure. Current plan is to hot glue this together and hope it uh, doesn't fall apart on me again.
going exactly how I planned it. All right, I've decided to take it outside and spray paint it because spray paint will heal all, right? I'm not worried about drips because it's already a drippy disaster, so. That looks much cooler on camera than it looks on in person right now. I'm actually digging it. Okay, okay. It looks a lot cooler on camera, so I'm gonna assume that this is actually working for me. Okay, I don't hate this anymore. I keep going through phases of wow i hate this and okay it actually looks cool and right now we're on a cool swing so hopefully that swing just keeps going up rather than coming back down again i'm gonna stop on the green and then i'm gonna do just some straight up gold normally i don't like gold and i don't encourage it at all but but this is steampunk and gold is more christmasy anyway Thank you. 